Hi there, this is Dr. John Rigetsky, New Life Physical Therapy here in Westfield. Uh, I want to share a few videos along with you. Uh, we'll release them a little bit of time of something we call the squat matrix. So uh, we use a squat matrix to introduce some squatting, which uh, a lot of times we say the word squat and people cringe and roll their eyes and things like that. Uh, we use this as a way to try and get your glutes, your hip muscles, your buttock muscles to work a little bit more effectively. Also work on some balance, and really we try and get some pressure off those knees. So if we're using the squat matrix effectively and doing things the right way, it should be about the easiest squats you've ever done on your knees and should recruit some muscles to help with your overall strength. So really the only supply you need for this is to have a wall. I like using the wall as a target to reach back to, and it's a fail-safe point too. If you were to reach a little too far and lose your balance, the wall's not going anywhere. So I'll, I'll do a few of them against the wall so you can see it from kind of the front view, but then I'm going to use this chair that's next to me here in the image to uh, help um, give you kind of a better view from the side profile. So we need to find the right distance to squat. So I'm going to do one, kind of feel how far I have to reach back. Okay, move a little closer. Oops, I bump into the wall right away. We have to find that Goldilocks distance. Not too far, so I lose my balance. Not too short, but just right. And I easily kind of sit my hips back to the wall. I'm using my hands as a counterbalance. And now I'm going to do a side profile. So what I'm going to do is reach my backside back and find that chair. And I'm using that again as my target point. Uh, chair's going to move, so don't really use a chair. That's just to show you the angle. So what I'm trying to do with that is get my backside back behind my feet. So if I kind of drop that plumb line down behind my hips, you can see it's quite a bit back behind my feet. And then at this angle, if you look at it, how much my hips have bent relative to my torso, my trunk, versus how much my knees have bent, there's a lot more hip bend than knee bend. So we're trying to make those hips share the uh, majority of the load and get the pressure off your knees. So today we're working what's called the sagittal plane. This is going to be the emphasis. That's going to be kind of forward back direction. So I first did it with my feet equal. Now you can see that I have a stagger here, and now my left toe is in front of the line. So I've kicked my left foot ahead. That's going to make my right hip work a little harder since it's really more underneath me, and my left leg is sort of out of the way right now. You might find like there's quite a bit of difference between one leg versus the other with this, and that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to reverse them around, and now you can see that my feet are unequal again. And now my left leg is going to work a little bit harder. So that was just a, a quick start for our squat matrix series we're going to do here. That was dealing with the sagittal plane, the forward backward stagger. So we can do squats where our feet are equal. We can do them where one foot is staggered forward and then do them where the other foot is staggered forward. Now that, there's no right or wrong for how much it's staggered. It could be an inch. It could be a foot. It depends on what your ability level is. As always, if you have any questions, talk to your new life physical therapist. Otherwise, take care, be well, and keep moving.